What's in a name? Our story? Our identity? Our very being? My name is Muhammad. What comes to mind when you hear the name Muhammad? Tolerance? Love? Peace? Or bigotry? Hate? Or violence? I wore the name Muhammad with pride until it was taken away from me. When we arrived in Canada, we were told we'd fit in better with Western names. A new land, a new name, a new identity. I begrudgingly became Mike. No Mike's in the house? <laughs> but inside, I was still Muhammad, wasn't I? I struggled with two identities. To my community, I was Muhammad. To everyone else, I was Mike. Those two boys never became one. Muhammad had escaped war in Lebanon. Mike struggled to belong in small town Ontario. At 22, I moved to Spain. I discovered an Islamic legacy that had awakened Europe from the dark ages. It awakened me. I could feel the history of my people calling out my name. Suddenly liberated, I shed any shame that I'd felt. This journey of self-discovery took on a new meaning when I returned to Canada. The West was at war in the Middle East. The Gulf War had sparked a fear of all things Muslim. Fears legitimized with 9-11. A vicious war was born, a war of names. Terrorists also branded themselves with names. Al-Qaeda, Taliban, ISIS. They desecrated the message of Muhammad, turning it into one of blood and death. Horrible crimes wrongly committed in the name of Islam don't represent me any more than they do two billion Muslims who share our planet. Yet there is a backlash against us. Last year, six Muslim men were the victims of a terrorist attack in a mosque in Quebec City. The media named it a mass shooting, a label that shrouds what it really was, a byproduct of Islamophobia. The bigotry is very real. I've lived it throughout my life. I've been a Canadian for th over 40 years. Still living with my name is difficult. Travel's difficult. Simple conversations are difficult. In my career, people don't always want to connect with someone named Muhammad. At 50, the insecurities of a small-town boy urge me to hide behind a silent mask of shame. But I'm neither silent nor shamed. I awaken with a voice of truth to call to peace, love, and tolerance. This is how I have reclaimed my identity. My name is Muhammad. Thank you.